Yo, what's going on you sexy people today? We're gonna be showing you guys how to get those arena points. I know it's a little bit of a struggle right now. Cash cups are literally a few days away and you guys need a little bit more than just, you need a more than average amount of arena points to be eligible to play these tournaments. I got you, I got you fam. You know what I'm trying to say, I've got you. So today we're just gonna run through some things that you can do to increase the amount of arena points you're getting. Just basically changing up some things and that's what we're going to be doing. I don't really want to waste any more of your time. Let's get straight into it before we do get into Code Racket right now. You know item drop. I want to see it right now. Okay, I'll give you two seconds. One, two. Okay, cool. Let's get into it. Okay, boys, starting off, I'm going to give you a little bit of a backside of like understanding how Arena works. So basically, Arena is a competitive mode in Fortnite. Nah, I never knew that. Just so you know, from Divisions 1 to 3, there's a 0 bus phase. Division 4 bus phase 10, Division 5 bus phase 20, Division 6 bus phase 40, and Division 7 bus phase is 60. So what this bus phase actually means is points will get deducted as soon as you go into a game. It's like basically paying the bus driver. You know, you got to pay the bus driver. He's giving you a service. He's taking you on the map. You know what I'm trying to say? Anyways, I thought I'd just clarify that. But anyways, we'll get into the tips now. This hair of mine. <laughs> Why is my hair wet? Did I even shower? I haven't showered today. Oh! Ew! You! What the fuck? No, I'm oh, that was a joke. That was a full joke. One of the first tips that I have for you guys is going to be ease off W King after Division 5. So I know it's arena, a lot of people love W King a lot. And of course, advanced players continue doing that. You know what I'm trying to say? But I recommend not W King so much if you're not an advanced player due to the fact that Busfair might fuck you up. The reason why I say this is because like I said, I mentioned bus fare is 20 from Division 5 onwards and 20 is one kill, so it's not too much. If you're not too comfortable with your skills and stuff like that, rather take it easy on the W King. But yeah, let's get into the next tip. Now the first tip I'm gonna have for you guys is literally playing trios. So I know a lot of people uh, either play duos or trios to be in that matter of fact, some people play solos, but the way you're gonna improve to get better at the game is playing solos, but the way to get as many arena points as possible is trios due to the fact that it gives more points per kill so basically it gives around 20 points per kill and the whole thing is you run into three people when you go into trios and solos you get 20 points but you only find into one same thing with duos so i recommend playing trios going for those high kill games because you know it's arena you get that doubly key practice and stuff like that will also make you a better player so yeah but if you're not a too good of a player this is going to go into our next tip so the next tip I have for you guys is basically fighting uncongested areas or dead side. So what I basically mean by that is <clears throat> So what I basically mean by that is uncongested areas is of course not too many players are around there. So I mean like you don't really want to take fights in a place where there's too many people. So, I mean, you can third party people, that's a really good way to get killed. So basically third partying is the whole thing about it. And also fighting kids dead side, but dead side basically is for people that don't know, is the side that there's most likely to not be players. So let's, for example, zones up here, you know, and the whole maps here, Players have to rotate into the map. I'm going into too much detail. If you want to watch a video on that, I don't know, I'll make a video soon. But yeah, it's basically when you're on the opposite side and there's not going to be many people there. If you understand the zone reading and things like that, you'll understand. But yeah, try third party your fights as much as possible if you struggle with those fights. Next thing that I'm going to do for you guys is, and this will also make you a lot better of a player, is VOD reviewing why you die. So basically what VOD reviewing is, it's video on demand, reviewing your gameplay and uh, basically what that does is you looking from an outside perspective not in a narrow mind perspective of playing the game like a little loser you little fucking loser sitting on your tv you know what i'm saying like you need to look at it from a broader perspective to see what you can do better so by saving your footage or just going back into replay seeing what you could have done better and taking mental notes on those type of things will make you improve your arena just overall so i really recommend you do this Watch your videos, watch what you did wrong, watch what you did right, and yeah, just take a mental note to that and do the things you do right, don't do the things you do wrong, fix that shit, fix that shit, dog, you know what I'm saying, fix that fucking shit. Okay, the next tip that I'm going to have for you guys is literally just taking breaks, you know, taking breaks is really important with everything in life, and even with Arena and Fortnite, you know what I'm trying to say, so take a break when you're feeling a little bit bored, maybe a little bit tired, whatever the case, if you're a little bit drained out, take a break, because you don't want to get burnt out playing the game too much, because then you're going to lose your mentality, you're going to start raging, all that kind of stuff, so you really want to focus on keeping a good mentality and taking those fucking breaks. Next tip that I have for you guys is, of course, carrying them SMGs. So as we know, SMGs are the meta this season, it was the meta last season. Uh, very controversial, some people don't like it, some people do. But yeah, 
Carry them SMGs, I'm telling you, they will help you a lot in situations. I've literally won fights that I shouldn't have won because I was carrying an SMG. So I personally feel if I'm carrying SMGs and I'm winning fights, even when I'm this dog doo, you should be doing it too. So at the time of this recording, I'm not too sure if they are still in the game, but really make use of the tanks as much as you possibly can. The reason why I say that is because tanks are really OP, of course you guys do know. And I mean, it's a good way to camp as well. I mean, if you really want to, um, you can literally loot up a POI, go get a tank and literally sit in it the whole entire game and you'll literally be chilling. You'll get the marina points, you'll get the, you know, you'll get, you'll get those placement points. I really recommend if you struggle a lot getting arena points and you really want to play these tournaments for fun and stuff like that i really recommend doing that loot up get in one of the tanks you know what i'm trying to say but yeah i mean i don't really recommend that too much but i mean if that's your that's your deal that's your deal you know i can't i can't find it i can't find it i can't i can't judge you you know what i'm trying to say if you've made it this far into the video we've got a few more tips please hit the like button and subscribe you know what i'm trying to say I'm trying to get 17k subs like really soon so please do, do me a favor, do me a favor, you know, do me a favor, bruh, do me a favor, bruh, anyways, anyways, we'll get into the next tip. The next tip that I have for you guys is to not be so aggressive off spawn. So, a lot of players, when they're off spawn, they literally just want to try 50-50, get the kills as soon as possible, really quickly. So, basically, what I mean by this is you'll land, you'll get a gun, maybe you'll, you'll shield up a little bit, but then if you see an opportunity, you literally just want to rush it or whatever the case is. What I personally think is, land sides, let's, for example, you land in covert. Or what's actually called Command Cavern, Luca. You big stiff idiot. Okay, all right. Land side of Command Cavern, where it literally is really uncommon in whatever the case is. Get your loot up, get your mats up, and then look for the fight. You don't want to be in a situation where you're taking 50-50s and all of those kind of things, and you putting yourself at a disadvantage because you don't have mats or something like that. It's not the greatest thing, you know what I'm trying to say. So I personally feel, try to get the best loot that you possibly can. And yeah, I mean, if, if it goes by saying that, you don't even need to land a POI that is often contested. It is good practice, and it is good like ways of getting better and improving your fighting. But I mean, if you're really looking for those unit points, land those low-key spots, you know? I'm trying to say some low-key spots that I have for you guys will be in the video in the card up top here if you do want to watch it I really recommend you do there's some really crazy drops there, and I'm probably gonna make another video on that soon so check it out if you guys did enjoy that video please hit the like button if you do want me to make a part two of this I've got more ideas more tips and all that kind of stuff let's hit 350 likes I would really be appreciated but yeah I love you guys all so much thank you guys all so much for supporting the channel and all that good stuff but yeah I'll see you guys in the next one peace